Many people have been asking me, <clears throat> is it possible for a person to get the mark of the beast today? Is it possible? Have you done something and uh, you're feeling, whoops, have I taken the mark of the beast? Can you have the mark of the beast today? Now, you see, the mark of the beast is uh, some kind of a seal that followers of the Antichrist will take in allegiance to him. This will be allegiance to the Antichrist. And the prophecy of the, the mark of the beast is uh, spoken in Revelation 13, 16 to 17. Actually, I'll read to 18. It says, And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and born, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. So, he must be someone who is causing. He must be a known person who is causing something, okay? And that no man might buy or sell save he that has the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. He is wisdom. Let him that has understanding count the number of the beast for he is the number of a man. And his number is 603 score and 6, okay? Now, this verse says that the image of the beast will be forced on all people who are great, small, rich, poor, free and slave and all that, okay? That uh, it will be a must. And then you ask yourself, oops, have I taken the mark of the beast or is there some place where I've done something concerning buying and selling and taken this thing by mistake and I don't know and I'm, am I going to hell? Now you have to understand that uh, we don't know what the mark will look will look like we just have speculations a while ago some people thought it was a stamp others thought it was a tattoo or it was the the number 666 and uh, more recently people thought it might be a barcode even and uh, now there's even a popular speculation that the mark of the beast will be an implanted uh, microchip that uh, allows people to access their digital currency and even much more, I don't want to mention, but you know what is happening in the world. And people are saying, whoops, is this the mark of the beast? And those who have taken that thing, is it, is it the mark of the beast? And they are wondering. But uh, we have to understand, we honestly have no way of knowing what form of the mark uh, it will be. Because uh, one thing we have to understand is that right now, people are fearing. Others are saying, oh. You see, probably I've already taken the mark of the beast because uh, uh, maybe my, my bank card has a chip. And uh, I don't know, I think I've, I have the mark. And uh, others are thinking maybe I've blasphemed God at some point or made some impulsive test statements of allegiance to the Antichrist and maybe that's, that's the mark. And the people worry about so much. I'm sure this whole issue of the, uh, the microchip has really worried people so much. And others, they have also been told, hey, you know, did you worship on Sunday? Then you have taken the mark. Have you had the, the Seventh Day Adventist people telling people that a Sunday is the mark of the beast? I wonder, the Bible says the mark of the beast is a literal thing. It's a literal thing. It's not some thoughts or some day or things like that. And I think these are some doctrines of devils which are being taught right now so that they can confuse you from being careful on the actual month mark okay so they say that uh, sunday instead of sabbath constitutes to accepting the mark of the beast but the there's one significant reason why it is possible it is impossible to get the mark of the beast right now okay we have to understand that the mark of the beast does not exist yet okay it does not exist why because a literal reading of uh, revelation and other end time pro prophecies in the bible show that there is a schedule for the end time events there's a schedule it doesn't just happen out of the blues and daniel prophesied 70 uh, 70 weeks a uh, 70 uh, sets of seven years that marks the time of god's interaction with israel and we have to understand that 69 of those weeks have passed since Daniel's writing. And the final week will be what we call the tribulation, which is when the Antichrist or the beast will rise to power. And this ruler or the Antichrist will join together 10 nations. Remember Daniel 7, 24 to 25? Just go and read there. I don't have time to go and check all that. And Revelation 17, verse 7. 
he will join 10 nations and make a deception treaty okay some treaty some agreement with israel go and read daniel chapter 9 and the mark of the beast cannot exist until the beast himself is in power during the tribulation okay also another reason believers in jesus christ should not fear getting the mark is uh is uh, because the rapture of the church is not yet and in the rapture jesus will take all believers who are living and are dead from the earth as the bible says in first thessalonians 4 13 to 18 go and read there uh, today i don't want to quote a lot of uh, bible verses I, I just say them so that you go and watch i don't want to open because i don't want this video to be long and first corinthians 15 50 to 54 and uh, although people will still come to know Christ after the rapture, all those who trust in Jesus before the rapture will be taken and will be with the Lord. And uh, according to pre-tribulation pre uh, 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 understanding of the, uh, the rapture, believers who live in Christ will never have an opportunity to receive the mark of the beast. But remember one thing. Remember one thing. You cannot lose your salvation. Okay, if you're saved, you can lose your salvation. That's that's for a fact. You can lose your salvation. So if it means there's something that you can take and then you lose your salvation, then that is not true salvation. But but now I want to give you a big but here. Okay, in Second Thessalonians, Second Thessalonians chapter two, verses one, I want to show you there is a big possibility that just before we start living. Before the rapture, people will be deceived into something which will not be the mark of the beast yet, but it will, co 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 uh, it will um, uh, make them not be able to think straight or uh, be able to, you know, be in a point how they can be saved. I, I don't know if, I don't know if you, you're understanding. You see, the end times, the Bible says this. That uh, when the man of lawlessness will be starting to take shape, just before we leave, just before we leave, see this, see this. There is something which the Antichrist will be doing and it might make some people lose their minds in some way that they cannot be saved. It's not that they will take the mark of the beast at this time. You cannot take the mark of the beast now. But it will corrupt your mind in a way that you cannot think straight. Hence, you may end up taking the actual mark because your mind is not thinking right because if if you if your mind is off then uh, anything you're told you you will do see what the bible says in second thessalonians chapter 2 verse 1 it says now we beseech you brethren by the coming of our lord jesus christ and by a gathering together unto him that you be not sh soon shaken in mind or troubled neither by spirit nor by word or by letter as from us as that day of christ the rapture is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. Now, who are these people who are falling away? These are the people who are being in church, the prosperity style. They, they're just there, they're just enjoying the goodies, but they have never really put their trust 100% in Christ. They're just fakers in church. See, these are the people who will fall away. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. So it means probably these people who have been pretending in church, they will fall away to something which is some deception. Are you seeing the point? Some deception which will come through the whole world. And when they fall into that, when you fall down, it means you are in a higher place. You are in a place where probably you could have been saved if you stayed there. But now they will fall away into a way that they cannot be able to get salvation in some way. I'm not saying God cannot do miraculous things. But I'm saying they will fall away from the point of grace where they were. And probably do something or get into some deception which Satan will try to bring in. In a way that their minds will not th think straight. They will have some strong delusion. And believe some lie which will be happening. And then from there, they will be damned. Because they will not be able to think straight and not 
uh, take the mark of the beast when it comes. They are going to take it because they are on that strong delusion. Are you seeing the point? So these are the people who will fall away just before, just before we start living, this will happen. See, uh, the son of perdition, who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God and that is worship, so that he as God seated in the temple of God, showing himself that is God. So these people, they'll fall away and the Antichrist will start sitting in their temple of God. The Bible says that our bodies are the temple of God. I know this verse has a lot of meanings. So it seems they will allow something into their bodies or into the temple of God which will make Satan to sit in that temple and show himself that he is God. Look at this. Remember ye not that when I was with you I told you these things and now you know what will holdeth that he might be revealed in his time. For the mystery of iniquity does already work. Only he who letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. And shall that wicked be revealed. You see these people, they'll fall away to something. And then now the, the, the wicked will be revealed. Whom the Lord will consume with the spirit of his mouth. And shall destroy the brightness of his coming. Even him who is coming after, is after the working of Satan. That Antichrist with all power and signs and lying wonders. To those who love signs and wonders. And with all deceivableness. So it means the Antichrist might deceive people and that people will fall away into his traps of unrighteousness in them that perish because they received. Look, they will be deceived because they received not the love of the truth or uh, that they might be saved. They were fakers in church and that's why they will fall away to some deception of the Antichrist. And for this cause shall God send them a strong delusion. You decide, oh, I don't want to be, I don't want to believe the true gospel. I want what my itching ears want to hear. Then God is going to send you a strong delusion that you will believe a lie. And after you believe this lie, there's a possibility because you believe this lie, it has given you that strong delusion. You have that strong mental disorders. Your mind is not thinking straight and you believe a lie. So that moment when you'll get the mark of the beast, you'll be believing some lies which the Antichrist will be bringing. A, a set of lies. Are you seeing that they might all, uh, that all might be damned who believe not the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness. So are you seeing what the Bible is saying? Right now we don't have the mark of the beast. And if you're, you have the Holy Spirit in you, he teaches you what is right and what is wrong. He tells you, don't take this, take this. Don't take this, take this. Do this, don't do that. And that's why we are supposed to walk in the Spirit so that we don't fulfill the desires of the flesh. But if you don't have the Holy Spirit, what happens? You, you, are, you are vulnerable. You are vulnerable. Anything goes. And the hunter Christ can come up with his own lies and then... Uh, you can believe them. And what will happen? You will fall away from a position where you could have been saved and fall into something else. So my friend, it's really important that you make sure that you, you, have the, you are saved. Because if you're saved truly, you can lose your salvation. Because the Holy Spirit is in you. And he tells you every day. He tells you every day. What is right and what is wrong? What is right and what is wrong? Because he speaks in us. He convicts us unto righteousness. But think about it. If you don't have salvation, if you're not saved, what's going to happen? Strong delusion. A strong delusion come in. You are lied to and lied to until you get the big lie, which is the mark of the beast, and you take it. Are you seeing the point? So right now, there's nothing anyone can do to get or take or receive the mark of the beast. Okay? Implanted chips, barcode, tattoos, blaspheming, saying aloud. Even if you say out loud, I follow the Antichrist and accept the mark of the beast. None of this will give you the mark of the beast now. The mark of the beast cannot exist without the beast or the Antichrist demanding it. But remember, if you're not in Christ, it is very possible for you to be deceived. And when you're deceived, you'll be deceived step one, two, three, four, until you're a reprobate. And at the end of the day, you'll take the actual mark of the beast. Because the, the beast is slowly, slowly, slowly controlling you and giving you things and lying to you until you have a reprobate mind. You can't think straight. 
and at the end of the day you will lose it my friends you need to believe the gospel what is the gospel the gospel is the good news about what jesus did for us what did he do for us christ died for our sins he was buried and rose again the third day according to the scriptures that is what the bible says in first corinthians 15 1 through 4 so jesus died for our sins he didn't die for nothing so that if you believe in him you'll not perish but you'll have everlasting life so you may ask what how did jesus die i have the answer he died by shedding his blood why why the blood why why did he have to shed his blood why why if jesus could have been strangled or drowned in water or electrocuted would there be no salvation what is that what you're trying to mean keith absolutely yes because the bible tells us in the book of hebrews without shedding of blood shedding of blood there is no forgiveness of sins are you seeing the point so you may ask me so why why the blood why is the blood important have you seen the book of leviticus 17 11? it says that the life of the flesh is in the blood and i've given you the blood upon the altar to make atonement for your souls for it is the blood that atones for the soul so unless there is blood shed you can't be forgiven but it's not just any other blood because uh, we are sinners then the bible says the wages of sin is death we our blood is is already corrupted so how can we be redeemed it is the blood of someone who is innocent only an innocent person can redeem a guilty person and that person is jesus 2000 years ago while we were still seen as christ died for us are you seeing the point and he said he died for us so that if you believe in him you'll not perish but you'll have everlasting life are you seeing the point so all you need to do is believe that jesus died for your sins and he was buried and rose again and after you believe that my friends all you need to do is just tell god what you believed you cannot confess what you don't know confess to him jesus this is what i have understood that you died for my sins you were buried and rose again the third day according to the scriptures and i received that payment of sin that atonement that you you've given me by faith and once you do that my friends you're saved sealed and sanctified unto the day of redemption hope this has been a blessing to you hope you've been able to understand uh the possibility of the mark of the beast okay and if you enjoy these videos please give them a, a, a thumbs up a like and also you can uh, share the video to your friends so that they can be able to hear the gospel and likewise subscribe so that you can watch uh, new videos which we post every day and uh, don't forget to hit the notification bell so that whenever we post it always helps us to uh, share the message to you and tell you hey we have a new video here and likewise uh, on the description we have a uh, some of our channels on beat shoot on facebook and so forth which we also post please share them also to your friends and let them be able to hear god bless you and have a good time